This is the college. This is the first front engine machine that Polaris made. <coughs> uh, it's got some very nice features. Uh, you got storage in front here can be used or you can add your engines and your clutches and your headlights and whatnot. You got a fold down windshield, just loosen that and let it fold right down here. If you got more wire fence you want to get through, you can lift on that fence and you can go right under it. With the windshield down. Yeah, with well, the windshield down. And in the 1964, there was a lot of fences that you wanted to get through. So that was a, a plus for some people. Particular somebody that was out fox hunting or something then. Sure. The other thing, you got nice storage back here. You can put a snowsuit in there, you can put your whatever you, you want to carry with you, some groceries. Got a good hitch. And it's our first rubber track machine. It's it's got <coughs> The way this track is made, it's got number 50 roller chain, and you know how the number 50 roller chain are, are folds right through, so you put, we, we put uh, like piano wire you call it, it's a high, high carbon rod. You put them through an extrusion that's about two inches wide, and with holes in it, and you just, just uh, that's the way you fasten the track together. Uh huh. It made the track very flexible, didn't get stiff when it got cold or dirty below. And it got the first attempt by Kohler to put, they said we can make an alternator so you have good lights. Otherwise, we used uh, old bicycle generators that you would rub against the tire, and we would rub them against the the uh, flywheel, and you, you get lights with it. But it was kind of temporary; they last so long, and then they're gone. <coughs> or you could put a lantern in there with a battery in here, which, if it's in that cold weather at 20 below, why? It, Burns very, very little. Balance is good. It uh, it was good machine. We tested it in Alaska on the on the glaciers in Alaska. We, I tested it at home here. That's in Alaska. That picture there. I tested it at home when the first snow fall comes, you know. The, the snow is loose and stuff. <coughs> when they come back from Alaska, and I was Alan and a guy drafted by the name of David Pearson, they come back out of their glaciers and they oh I said that machine is really worked nice. I had loaded it when I got home and who had just had a good snowstorm. And I'd get stuck. And I go some more and I get stuck. So, that was a letdown. But, you take a look at that now, that machine sold, looking at, looking at that, that's why it's on that thing too, you know, because it's a nice looking machine. Mm -hmm. The only thing wrong with it, it didn't go in the snow. Alright, the first thing that's wrong with it, the alternator that Kohler put out of that engine, the alternator would do something with the lighting coil, or the lighting coil would do something with the alternator for the motor. So that it starts, you probably drive it out two, three miles to before you go fishing. You couldn't start it after it's hot. 
it just wouldn't start. So people would do this, they'd, they'd pull up, go fishing for a couple of hours, and they'd just let the engine go, but they'd never stop it, see. The minute they touch that starter, or that throttle, they walk home. I wasn't inter interfering with the motor. It wouldn't run after it got hot that way. So that's one point. The other thing was, Borg Warner made a clutch for us, which was a n nice little clutch to handle that engine, and it uh, it, it worked well. But it'd get hot. Uh, pretty soon you'd look down there and it, it was glowing red in there. Which meant your belt was burning up. And pretty soon you'd be <laughs> smoke coming up. <laughs> so the clutch didn't work because the belt wasn't, it didn't do something right on the belt. Clutch or belt. Anyway, so that's strike number two. The other thing that I said that didn't go in the snow very good is the track was too flexible. It didn't hold it enough rigid, rigidity so that the out it, it droop. So uh, I say uh, it's a good machine, except it doesn't go in the snow. The clutch doesn't work, and the headlight doesn't work, and it won't start. Although it's a good engine, a good machine. <laughs>